Well, thank you, Andy. Well, there's another organization that strives to make a positive impact on youth in the area. They're celebrating their 106th birthday this week. It's the Boy Scouts of America. They began back February 8th, 1910. Black Swamp Area Council Cub Master and Assistant Scout Master Chad Bryan is here with us now to talk about the Boy Scouts. Chad, thank you so much for being with us on Faith and Friends. Thanks for having me. Let's go ahead and just talk about the Boy Scouts of America. Been around since 1910, a solid organization. Why do you believe in what this organization does? Um, personally, I, I have two boys that are in the program um, and they, when they came through uh, school, they really weren't that interested in organized athletics. They enjoy playing sports, but not organized. But they really love the outdoors. So that seemed like an, an ideal program for the boys. But then on top of that, when I got into leadership, I started seeing where um, there were a lot of boys that were coming up in, in today's society that didn't have a male role model in their mm -hmm. life, uh, a lot of split families. And uh, so it, it kind of grew from just my boys being involved to actually being kind of a, a personal mission to try to work with some of these kids that have some real big problems in their lives and give them a positive influence. So tell me a little bit about how the Boy Scouts works. Cub Scouts is the starting point. What are the ages that kids can get involved and what can they expect as far as meetings go? Okay, um, the boys can start out in first grade. Cub Scouts will go first through fifth grade. And then the Boy Scouts will, or the, the, the Cubs will cross over their fifth grade year to Boy Scouts and they have until their 18th birthday to earn their Eagle Scout. Um, so meeting wise, at the Cub Scout level, it's more of the adults leading the meetings. Um, we do all kinds of activities from uh, science to cooking to camping to games, just fun type activities. But the goal is to try to teach them life skills, things that they can take from the meetings and, and use outside of the scouting program. And then when they get to the Boy Scout um, level, it's more of an, uh, a boy-led program. The adults are, there, are just there as advisors, but um, there they are learning true life skills that um, they will probably use from the time they learn them till, till they're well on into their years uh, when it comes to just about every aspect of life. So you mentioned the Eagle Scout, which is the top level. The boys start out at a certain point and have an opportunity to kind of move their way up earn different levels throughout the program? Yeah, so they have different ranks that they have to earn and parts of their rank requirements are to earn merit badges. So each merit badge has a, um, a, specific, um, a, a specific purpose. Some of them are required for Eagle Scouts, some of them are electives. So you have anything from first aid to cooking to space exploration and, and there, there is a you know, aviation where they can go up in an airplane, fly an airplane hmm. and things like that. So there's, I forget how many exact, it's well over 120, 130 merit badges that they can choose from, but they have to earn so many and there, there are time requirements in between them as well. So we're looking at leadership skills, goal setting, uh, working as a team, a lot of great aspects that are being built, but there's also a lot of fun, like the Klondike Derby or the camp opportunities. Yeah, we just did our Klondike Derby here a couple weekends ago at Camp Lakota in Defiance, um, where those guys, unfortunately this year with the way the weather's <laughs> been, uh, it rained the night before, so a lot of the snow melted, so they were dragging their sleds through, um, through the mud as opposed <laughs> to on snow, but but our group of guys had a great time. They, they worked together well. It was a team of eight on their sled. Um, and then when they go to camp, um, they, they have different merit badges they work on, but then they have different programs that they call outbounds where they can go out and um, you know, they might canoe 15 miles. They might, <laughs> it just depends on, on what they choose, but, but it is, my son personally, absolutely loves the program and, and loves the opportunities that he has. And it doesn't matter if a person lives in the city, if they're in the country, um, there is an opportunity for them to be involved, especially you know, if you think about kids who live in the city, they don't have some of these opportunities for these outside things. Um, where do parents go if they want to get their kids involved in Boy Scouts? Um, a lot of times if, at the Cub Scout level, we'll come through the schools. Um, there is in Lima, there is a scout shop on Robb Avenue right by the FOP Hall. Um, the council office is in Finley, and there's also a website called bascout.org, and there they can put in their zip code and search for units that are in their specific area, 
and they can then request more information on the groups. All right, Chad Bryan with the Boy Scouts of America, Cub Master and Assistant Scout Master. Thank you so much Thank for you. joining us. And don't forget to get more information on the Boy Scouting in this area. You can call the numbers on your screen. That Finley number is 419-422-4356 or the Lima office is 419-229-7890.